update on Luke Voigt and when he might rejoin this team? Uh, the plan is for Luke to still be down there in, uh, in AAA getting his at-bats. I think I've heard like a week-long worth of at-bats right now, so I think he's uh, played in three games so far, so he'll be down there for a few more days. Kind of Will Myers, his, his hand was still pretty puffy today. Yes, I haven't talked to Will or heard how his hand is going uh, today, but I know over the last few days he's been very pleased with how it's progressing. Blake, another rehab start, do you think? Or? Yes, I would imagine he'll start uh, one more time at least uh, in AAA in Santa, uh, down there in El Paso is his next plan to start. Okay. How much time? How much time has this coaching staff spent discussing this rotation, and you know, and, and how it could look um, after after the start? Well, there was a meeting today with uh, the pitching coaches and uh, and uh, AJ and Stein. They were talking about what our options are moving forward. I think uh, as of now, the plan is to use the six-man rotation, and then uh, you know, obviously, when Blake is ready to come back, then there's going to be another discussion. What's it been like transitioning organizations for you? You spent a long time in one, now you're here. Like, what's that kind of fresh look been like for you? Uh, this has been fun. It's been, uh, that was one of the things that intrigued me about this move, was to come down here and watch Bob operate in a new situation, uh, you know, a situation with superstars on the team. So I've uh, enjoyed watching him maneuver around the clubhouse, develop these relationships with new players, and uh, I've enjoyed doing the same thing. I've kind of enjoyed a role of kind of a liaison between new people and Bob with my familiarity there with him. And uh, I think people have looked to me to try to get that comfortability that they might want to have with the manager. So uh, it's been a role that I've embraced and I've enjoyed uh, every single minute I've been here with the organization so far. Bob has really cultivated a nice uh, a nice rapport with these players. The mood in the clubhouse has been great. They've been very receptive to anything new that we've tried to bring to the table. And uh, you know, anything as far as just maybe cranking up the effort just a tiny bit. I love the way that they've run the bases so far this year. Um, they're aggressive. They're coming to play every day. The work has been great. And and uh, it's a very good vibe and it's a good place to come to work every day right now. Do you know if Boyce, how his biceps feeling? I mean, I imagine him being there for a week is about timing too. Yeah, I think he's still looking to find his swing a little bit. I don't think the bicep's an issue anymore. I think after about four or five days of the medicines that they had him on, he was already starting to feel better. So I think he's very comfortable with where his uh, health is. Right now, I think it's just about him getting down there and getting his at-bats and finding his swing the way he wants to find it and then come back ready to roll. Fernando says he rehabbed in Arizona during the road trip. Do you have an update on what he was able to do when he was down there? Yeah, I just talked to Mike Schild, who saw Fernando in Arizona, and he had a very pleasing experience with him there. Uh, I think he was there for three or four days with Fernando and said he's progressing very well. He's moving around, uh, very receptive to anything that they wanted to try to do with him as far as simulating games as much as he can do, you know, away from the field, maybe observing some different things. So Fernando's in a good place.